Uh, hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and we're in our warehouse today, and we're looking at a product from Jameson. Um, it's a fish tape, uh, believe it or not. It's the largest one I've ever seen. Um, Jameson produces a wide range of fish tapes. These are used to go through four-inch conduit, heavy duty. It's, it's big, and it's not only big, it's quite heavy. Um, and uh, they come in different sizes. Let me get the paper. But before I get the sizes uh, of this fish tape, uh, I wanted to show you the difference between the, the fish tapes. This is the everyday use fish tape if you're doing uh, cabling inside a building. And uh, we already have a video on this. It's called the Little Buddy. Of course, this one, once we get it onto that reel over there, is called uh, the Big Buddy. And uh, they have different applications. Uh, if you're just fishing a half inch or a one inch, uh, even a two inch conduit within a building, you really need this uh, Little Buddy. And, and uh, take a look at it on our website. Uh, we have a videotape of this, and this is very functional. This has a specific purpose. Um, if you're a utility or if you're doing heavy cabling uh, in a building or exterior in, in like a manhole uh, type of thing or a four inch conduit and you gotta pull some significant cable through that, this is the fish tape uh, that you would use. So uh, I'm gonna put this back and we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the characteristics of uh, of the Big Buddy from Jameson uh, Company. Um, it comes in sizes from 400 foot all the way up to 1,000 foot, and it's a, a half inch diameter uh, core, and it's heavy, thick fiberglass. It does have a nice pull to it, and of course this is the first time we're gonna be putting it on the reel, and we're concerned that if we cut this, it will explode and all of us will be whipped around this warehouse. So we're attempting uh, to uh, put this on uh, uh, the reel over here. And here's the reel in a fashion that will not kill anybody in the neighborhood. So uh, what the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take the, uh, the outside uh, portion, not the inside, and we're gonna try to un... Uh, Reel it. comes with it and what's really nice so if you can see in there this is a free floating end so if you're pulling something that's twisted this will not continue to twist or it will relieve that twisting tension that's in the line you're pulling so what you got to do though it's, it's heavy has threads in there and this has threads on this end so what we're going to do is we're just going to screw this on here And then once we get it close to that bolt, you want to take a wrench and you want to tighten it. And here's a groove. If you can see that groove in there, that, that groove is for a wrench also and you tighten the two ends. That still leaves this free floating uh, bull nose uh, free. You can't tighten that up, which is good because that's the thing that's going to grab your other cable or your, your pull string or your pull cable or whatever you're going to get at the other end when you pull back. And sometimes that cable has a twist in it and this releases the twist. So that's what you want. You want this to be free floating. It does come with other ends uh, to it that you can screw on, different type of leaders, some with uh, wheels at the end that, that will follow through a curving pipe in all different directions. And again, fiberglass is made that way so it bends in, in different directions up and down where metal tape is not. Um, this is industrial strength because of the thickness you can see that because of the thickness of this uh, 
the fiberglass here. We have it tie wrapped here because we're in the, we don't want it to come loose on someone. Uh, but it's not necessary to tie wrap if you have the brake set hard. You can see it has markings on the uh, outside. In this case, it says zero, zero, zero because you really are not going in that far. So as it pays out, you can see how much you've pushed out. It doesn't. Yeah, it won't go far with this brake one. Hi, this is Jim and this is John with CableSupply.com. Please visit our website. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of CableSupply.com.